Hello, hello. Welcome to the Pear Blossom Press YouTube channel. My name is Lynn or LV Handcrafted here on YouTube and my video is coming a little bit later than I normally post but it's because I just had to have this stamp set and I saw that it went on super clearance at scrapbook.com and I checked right before recording this voiceover and it is still available. There aren't that many left of them, but this stamp set is only, I think, six or seven bucks on uh, the scrapbook.com website. So uh, check out the blog post and the uh, video description for a link if you would like to go purchase it because it's a lot of fun. It's got a tic-tac-toe board. There's lots of little stamps where, I mean, you could use it to actually play tic-tac-toe if you wanted because they have the x's and o's but there's also a lot of little stamps that are the perfect size for fitting into those squares and it um there's a variety of different little messages little things that could be gifts that uh you can have somebody try to um match and win so i thought i thought it was really really fun set to use these scratch off stickers which pear blossom press also sells so you get a variety of different shaped uh, scratch off stickers in this bundle and it's really it works out perfectly that the silver square scratch off sticker if you actually cut that square into nine little pieces it actually will fit onto this board really really well i do want to note though that i actually i i did my whole card and then i actually was able to peel off the scratch off sticker, I was, I did it very, very carefully, but I was able to peel it off and get a new set of um, stickers um, attached onto this because I was a little bit bothered by the fact that when I cut it initially for this video, the squares were uneven and then it uh, triggered sort of an OCD in me <laughs> where I just had to redo it. So when you look at the final photos, it's actually a little bit different to how it looks in this video. I don't think it matters too much because it's a handmade card and if it's not perfect and all of the squares aren't exact, it's not the end of the world. But, um, but I wanted to mention it just to let you know that if you wanted, you could carefully peel these back up again. Now, the way they work is that these are on a plastic liner, like a very, very thin plastic liner. And so when you stick these down, there's actually whatever that scratch off material is on top of a clear plastic liner so that when you're scratching it, it doesn't actually scratch the surface of your card. And what I did is I actually poked a little hole in the upper left hand corner but it can be wherever you want of the three squares that are actually the three different prizes that um whoever gets this can win from me so i've got um coffee on me lunch date or a gift card and what i thought i would do is use the easy lights as a way to offer a hint as to which of the nine squares actually has a prize below it. So I thought that would be a lot of fun. So if the uh, card recipient uh, wants to just chance it and not, <laughs> not use the hint, then they can just scratch off randomly. Or, um, and this is fun if you give the card to somebody in person and you can tell them, okay, you get one shot. You know, you pick one square to scratch off to uh, find out what it is I'm going to give you. Um, but it's fun because then they can um, press the on off button and I'm just going to hand write the word hint. So if they want a hint, they can push on that 
it will light up the three lights, which will um, light up the the little uh, corners of those squares. And there's still a little bit of chance. There's still a little bit of um, surprise as to which of the three prizes, but at least then it narrows it down to the squares that actually have prizes behind them. And what I did was I poked a hole um, through my tic-tac-toe board and then I used a white gel marker because I knew I would be marking onto black or a dark cardstock here. And I transferred those dots right onto my, um, my decorative panel and I poked a hole through that as well. So now I know exactly where my three lights need to be in order to actually shine through. Now the cardstocks that I'm using, not only are they dark in color, but they're, they are also kind of thick. Um, so the top portion, that black glittery portion, it's actually cardstock that I put double-sided adhesive tape on and then poured glitter onto. So it's got a layer of glitter on top of cardstock. And so what I'm going to do when I place my lights is I'm actually going to tape it right behind the panel. I'm going to tape it to the back of the panel. And that way it's as close to that hole as possible. And that way it's going to be as bright as possible. So installing easy lights are really, truly so, so easy. And it makes, it makes creating light up cards more about fun, creative ways to add lights to your card than it is about building circuitry. And that's one of the things that I really love about the all of the Pear Blossom press lights because it really it leaves your sort of uh, creative juices and your brain power for <laughs> coming up with the design of your card because you don't really have to think too hard about how to actually install this, how to get the battery installed, how to run the wires. It's all connected for you and ready to go. So that's the beauty of it. All of the lights also come with batteries and I do appreciate the fact that the batteries are not already installed so that they're not draining um, while they're sitting there in their packaging. All you have to do is um, just slide the included battery into the battery holder and you are good to go. So what I'm doing is just really double checking that the lights are where I want them to be and that they are as um, bright as they can be. And I'm doing a little bit of a dry fit to really make sure that when I put my tic-tac-toe board over this panel that you can still see it light up. The other thing that um, that I want to note also is off camera, I I colored the top of the banner in, well, what I was hoping would be a red that matched the pattern paper below it, but I don't really have the right shade of red. And I tried to, I tried to kind of do an under layer of a um, like a brown warm gray but that didn't really help so by the uh, by the time I get to the end of this what you'll notice is that the top banner all of a sudden uh, turns into a gray banner <laughs> all I did was I just colored up a second banner I fussy cut it out and then I actually attached it right over top of the original with a little bit of foam behind it. So it actually turned out better because then it adds a little bit more dimension to that banner and it's like literally popping out a little bit more. Now with this um, particular card, because there's two, there's actually two interactive mechanisms. There's the light up aspect of this card, but then there's also the scratch off X, uh, aspect. And the thing is, is that the scratch off portion, you need, it needs to be stable 
underneath that tic-tac-toe grid so that when you use like a quarter or whatever you're going to use to scratch it off that there's a nice firm solid surface to scratch against so that's why I'm putting adhesive uh, very intentionally in the areas that are supposed to be or will ultimately be behind the tic-tac-toe board and I did give it a little bit of a um, a little bit of a press to make sure that it was nice and firm there, that it's nice and solid. So then when everything is in place, I can peel off the liner of the world's best foam tape, which is the perfect thickness for um, these light up cards. And now I can finally cover up those last um, four squares because I actually forgot about the middle square which you don't really have to cover I guess but I think it's more fun when all of the squares are covered so as you can see because I'm just cutting these little um, uh, scratch off squares by hand it's very very uneven there's um, there's some spaces where the scratch off sticker actually fills the entire square. There's some squares where you see a little bit of a white border all the way around. That's the thing that was kind of bugging me about this unevenness. And so I did, I did fix that after the fact. You're not going to see it in the video, but you'll see it um, in the final photos if you check out the blog post or you see me post this on the socials. Um, but that's just to say that if you wanted to test the mechanism or if um, you adhered something down and it, it wasn't uh, quite right, you can still pull it up. Just be careful and... Um, and especially if you don't like burnish this down really hard, it's definitely possible to peel back up. So there's um, there's my card here. It magically, <laughs> the banner magically changes over. But there's a final look at my card. Um, it's so, this is such a fun little way to, to kind of give a gift and have it be a little bit of a surprise, both for the recipient and for you. So you push the button for a little hint. It lights up the three um, squares. Now, I didn't want to put the light directly below where you're scratching because then that way you're not scratching over top of your light. And that's why I put the, the little holes for the light in the upper left corner. But um, which corner you use doesn't really matter. Uh, I think the key is just to make sure that it's not directly where the recipient's going to be scratching off. Look how fun that is. And don't worry, I can still peel this back up and put another little scratch off square right over top that so that I can still give this card away. Thanks for checking out my video today. I'll leave links to everything in the description box below. And until next time, happy crafting and have a fabulous day. Bye.